Hi everyone, Randy Rebuy here, uh, author of An Infinite Number of Parallel Universes, out from Merit Press on October 2015. Uh, here with Writing the Margins again to talk to you about diversity in books. In my first video I just gave you a brief introduction of kind of my experiences growing up in America as a multiracial individual. And this time I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about uh, why I think diverse books matter. And I will preface this by just saying that uh, you know, I think books are a lot different than a movie or a TV show or a, you know, a comic. I love these things, don't get me wrong. A book puts you into somebody else's place in a way that uh, a movie or a TV show just simply cannot do. It forces you to live their life for an extended period of time, not just half an hour, not just, uh, not just a couple hours, but you actually see what they see, you experience the world as they experience it. So... So I think there's two main reasons, two main reasons why we need diverse books. One, I think we need to see ourselves. I think when you don't see yourself, you feel alone. When you feel alone, you feel inadequate, uh, you feel like you need to change who you are to try to be like other people that you are seeing in those books around you. That can be really damaging. I think. And so, when you f see yourself, when you see characters who look like you, who have similar experiences to yourself, it makes you feel connected. It makes you feel uh, like you are good enough. And seeing how those characters navigate their world, it can actually, I think, help you navigate your own experiences. Not that you're going to necessarily do what they do, uh, but it might inform the way that you act, the way that you respond to things that happen to you in uh, in a way that might not otherwise happen if you kind of weren't mentally primed by that reading experience. And I think even more importantly than that, when you see yourself, it leads to self-acceptance. You are not trying to be something you're not. You understand yourself uh, a lot better, and I think you'll go through life a lot happier and more fulfilled human being with that self-acceptance. I think the second reason we need diverse books is because we need to see other people, right? We need to realize that we are not the center of the universe, right? It sounds really simple, but as we go through our lives, experiencing everything from our perspective, fiction specifically gives us that chance to experience life as somebody else experiences it. And it helps us see what they go through. Right, or see what that individual character goes through. And right, the more characters you read about, the more diverse experiences you read about, uh, the more kind of, you know, thousands of lives that you end up living. And I think in doing so, it develops empathy. When you're forced to see the world through another character's eyes, uh, through somebody who's different than yourself, you come to understand what they're feeling and what they're thinking. And then it opens up that world to you because you're not limited to your own experiences. And I think that, when you kind of add that up, the domino effect or that snowball effect, I think we'll end up with a much better world when more people read more diverse fiction. Don't you think? Well, that's all for today. So again, I think we need diverse books because we need to see ourselves and we need to see other people. Uh, until next time, keep it real. you in a book a book transports hmm.